So this happens quite a bit uh, when I speak to people. It's something that I had an issue with for a very long uh, period of time before I'd built, you know, momentum in both of my businesses. And I just wanted to highlight uh, the benefit that I got from changing the way I thought about success. Um, for probably five or six years whilst I was working nine to five, my idea of success was really if I could get to this event. So there was always this event, you know, like this thing that would happen in the future that would then really create the milestone that I was heading in the right direction. Like if I could just get a $10,000 client, if I could just wait until Christmas time when I've got a spare couple of weeks, then I'll start to work on my business. Uh, once I recover from my illness, oh, I'm going on holidays in three to four months. Once I get back from that, then I can start doing things. And it was this event based thinking that really prevented me from moving forwards. And I find that a lot of people have this. You ask them about their goals, you ask them about where they want to move into the future, and then like, what is it that you're doing today to move towards those goals? And there's always an event that's getting in the way of them starting or implementing stuff. And the biggest shift that I've noticed uh, in the environments that I've been hanging out, the mentors that I've invested in, you know, people that just are making so much money that it makes what I'm making look like pocket change, you know. Um, these people are process driven. They're not event driven. They're not saying, oh, once this event occurs, we're going to do this. They're literally implementing and executing the process right now, okay? Because there literally isn't, it seems so obvious, but there isn't any time other than now. And for you to be, you know, doing something completely different, implementing a different process, you know, executing on different habits, it takes so much freaking work to change the way that you do stuff and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. That if you don't start today, it basically is very rare to actually be happening in the future because the one thing that you're doing by delaying is you're saying that not only is this not a priority right now, but you're basically saying my habits are too strong now, my mental and my physical habits are too strong for me to shift to be doing the things that I need to do to move towards the goals that I continually think about. And it's this disconnect between what people want and what they're prepared to do right now that creates all of the dissatisfaction, the discomfort and the general uneasiness in their lives. Uh, the people that just go, you know, feck it, I'm going to get started now. I don't have all the answers, but I'm going to get invested in the process now so that I think that I'm chipping away at this thing. These are the people that succeed. Okay. The people that just get into the process now and basically create zero excuses for why now isn't the perfect time, right? Now is the perfect time. It doesn't matter what it is that you have going on in your life. You can fit uh, a little bit of activity, a little bit of process around moving towards your goals right now. It is literally the biggest block for most people is just the mental understanding that they can't just start right now. They think they've got to wait for this event. So what I've really learned is that it's better to implement now on a strategy that's only 10% effective than wait for your cousin to get better or wait for you to come back from holidays or, you know, we've got this unbusy period into my nine to five job next uh, Wednesday, or I've got to wait until after Christmas because it's hectic, you know, the amount of people that tell me that life's hectic is ridiculous. We all have the same amount of time. We're all investing the same amount of energy in that time. It's just what we spend that time on that's different. Okay. If you can move from waiting for events to occur before you start moving towards your goals and you just go, what can I do right now in the next 15 minutes? Or what can I do for 10 minutes today at the end of the day when I get back from all my busyness and my hecticness? What can I do to just chip away at 
one grain of sand at a time moving towards my goals. Um, yeah. And that's really the recipe for success. It's understanding that there's no big major event that you need to be waiting for. The real success is in just getting some sort of process started and understanding that you can chip away at things very, very quickly. And we massively underestimate how much can be done in the long term and we massively overestimate what can be done today and it's the disconnect between those two that really prevents people from doing something now because they think they need to do something massive and grand to get up and running and it's just not the case um so one big takeaway for me from all of the success mentors that i've had and and the people that I really look up to and admire in my space, in the design space, in the business, sales and marketing space, these people, they just, if they've got a goal, they're already implementing. I've never heard any of them go, oh, we want to move towards this, but we're not doing anything to move towards that yet. That doesn't happen, right? Because if it's important enough, you've already started. And if you have a big goal and you're not already progressing towards it, even if it's terrible progress, you know, even if it's completely the wrong stuff that you're doing, then how big of a goal is it, right? So that's my major takeaway, guys. Be process driven instead of event driven. Don't worry about events, just focus on the process now and chipping away at whatever you can do to start moving towards your goals. So that's basically it. Um, if you've got a design business, you're looking for additional help on everything outside of just delivering your craft, you know, the entrepreneurial, the business, the marketing, the sales mastery that'll go with it so that you can actually, you know, profit from your design expertise. Feel free to have a look at a couple of the links uh, in the description. Um, even if you never click on any of the links, even if you never book a call or become a paying client, that's completely fine because these videos are out there to just arm designers with a completely different perspective that's really not spoken enough about in the design space. So hopefully you've got a lot of value out of this video, guys, and have a good day.